on Gold Star, and you sell tickets for fifteen bucks, and that moves that clears it out. People go to a fight for fifteen bucks. Uh, Charlo thirty zero and fifteen annihilated Eric Lubin. I watched the knockout, the one round knockout. Uh, they talked a lot of crap before the fight, Andrew. Lots of crap. Like the clips before the fight were phenomenal. The amount of crap they were talking. And Erickson Lubin fought like a guy who was 18 and 1 with 13 KOs. Right. He, he looks like. Fought he like was, a guy who'd never been punched in the right, mouth. Like he's never been punched. <laughs> hey, there's a. Hey, telling you the house I was in, they were looking for the punch. I seen it, Lee. But a lot of the. You know, some of the viewers I was watching it with, they don't. They didn't understand that six inch shot. You did know you what I mean? Have, did you have family over? Were you watching this yeah. as a group? Yes, I did. Uh, and went, what was their feet like? What's the common? Well, let me tell you, they were all interested, right? They're <sighs> all interested in Charlo. He he's got it, Lee. Marketing wise, the kid looks good. Uh, as a, he's gonna, be but a he hasn't fought fighter. anybody, bro. I know. No, don't <sighs> hear me out. No, so hear me out. So they're like, who is he? And I'm telling them right. who he is. The 154 right. pound champ. He's in. He's in the same uh, division as Canelo. Yeah, he's in the same division as Canelo, Lara, Cotto, all of these guys. Well, why hasn't he fought him? Well, he that's the problem. He's not fighting these guys, right? Is so it right his after, problem or is it PBC's problem? So check this out. Right after the fight, Lee, I tell him, okay, here it is. This guy just had a one-punch knockout. It's his second knockout this year that might go up for candidate of the, the knockout of the year. It wasn't that good a knockout, but it, it, it's, it's considered. It will be up there. Yeah, I, it, I agree, it but it wasn't. You and I both know. This Lubin has never been hit. That wasn't even so a big watch. hit. So watch, watch. All I right. go, he just had a big knockout. Let's see who he says he wants to face. Let's see who he's going to call out. Lee. Him and his brother sit there talking to each other, and then they go, we want Herd. We want Herd. You know what? Herd just won. We'll take Herd. My, you know what they say? Who, who, who's Herd? They didn't see the Herd right. fight. We only Wait, and the here's Charlotte. the funny part about Herd as we get oh to it in just God. a minute. Fucking Her- okay. Jared Herd. Okay, okay hold on, everybody. I'm going to tell you why they call out Herd, because first of all, that's what the PBC PBC. wants. Yep, but PBC. secondly, he's a lighter middleweight as compared to a bigger middleweight. No, he's bigger. This, no, no, he's bigger. Oh, he cuts. See, he is bigger than Charlo. I'm telling you, Jared Herd's a big boy. That is a big junior middleweight. But... How do I know he's not going to get punched one time in his chin and fall down? Well, he's okay? been built to 21. and he, Look, this is typical he, PBC. He has, build your fighters. Let's talk about it. IBF junior middleweight champion Jared Hurd scored a hard-fought 10th round TK over, over Austin Trout. Shouldn't have been that way. Should have been quicker. Uh, the ring doctor halted the bout at the end of round 10. Uh, did Trout announce that he's going to finally retire? I believe that it was going into the fight. It was one of those win or, win or die kind of situations. I mean, you know? I'm kind of into Austin Trout just because he's kicked around for a while. He's fought a lot of people. Yeah, Here's he's fought the thing. Every for those of you who don't understand, place. it's not that my boxing knowledge has been over the last 10 years. We've just recorded the show over the last 10 years. I've been doing this since the 90s. But since I've been doing Fight Net Radio in 2006, Andrew and I have been talking about Austin Trout kicking around. Like, it's time to go, bro. Like, the, the shelf life of a real boxer is around 10 to 15 years. It's a short career when they're at the top. And Austin Trout. Lee, this guy, Jared Hurd, is 6'1 with a 76 and a half inch reach. That's a three-inch reach advantage. It might be three and a half on Charlo. He is a big junior middleweight. Um, the, the only problem is really the only pros, person on his resume right now is Austin Trout. And while that sounds good as a name, you got to put in there that Austin Trout was on the downside of his career. Um, has faced he was almost, on the downside of his career a year know, ago. That, and that's what I'm saying about you You can't put too much into this win for Hurd. Yeah, it was a good stepping stone. Um, I don't know if if I'm trying to be the best in the division, right? I'm not calling out Jarrett Hurd. I'm calling out Ezri Landi Lara. I'm calling out Miguel Cotto. I'm calling out Saul Alvarez. What, like, what are we doing here? You're, you're, oh, I'm the best in division. We want to fight next. Jerry Hurd. What? Fuck out of here. I'm so over these guys. Look at Lee. Dude, I was I'm over them so, um, when they were Mayweather I, people. I, when they were just hey. Mayweather's guys, 
I was over prospects when they were just his, his prospects. We're, they, yeah, we were talking about this two years ago. They were on some wacky Mayweather card uh, in Vegas, and I went out to go cover it. I'm like, I don't even get this. I don't get what I'm looking at. Uh, I liked I liked the whole Lions only. Uh, I thought they're. I I still think they're. I, I always dip, uh, refer to both of them on when I talk about one of them. <laughs> they're still Jamel. Is still a good fighter. Lee, he has great knockout. He obviously this kid has power, right? The right hands for reals. I told you guys last time. I'm gonna tell you again. He reminds me of Terry Norris. I think we have the rebirth of Terry Norris in this division. Now, will he have what? Terry Norris? Oh, his power is real. Lee, what? Don't tell me that. I just told you this guy is knocking out people with one punch in the first round. In the first round, come All right, on. Just, 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 just. Uh, it's just... legit. I'm telling you right now, Cotto probably couldn't stand up to his right hand. So Charlo is, in your opinion, a modern-day terrible Terry Terry Norris. Well, let's go a step further. I mean, he's obviously Marvin Hagler and... and, But wait a minute. Marvin Marvin Hagler is not Terry Norris. I think that's an embarrassment to Marvin Hagler. You you tell me Terry Norris is in Hagler's? No. He's... No, I'm not. Terry I'm Norris just throwing names out. I hate, hey, Char- I hate Charlo. I hate, Char- I hate Charlo. I don't hate Terry Norris. Terry Norris didn't become a joke until Don King turned him into a joke. Until Simon Brown touched his chin. Yeah, That's but that was way like, later. Like, like, he like, stayed at the minute. dance. He turned stayed at the dance bully. for a long time. No, but didn't he turn into a bully? No, you're right, but didn't he turn into a bully? After everyone knew that that chin could be touched... It was almost like if you manned up to Terry Norris, he sort of crumbled. He sort yeah, of like. But up until that point, I mean, he was. It, you know what I mean? It kind of lessens Terry Norris. There was a lot to Terry Norris before that happened. Hey, he destroyed what? Leonard? Yeah. That, you know? Um, who else that, did he knock out? That's a pretty out? big resume item. Yeah, who else did he knock out early in his career? He has one other big knockout in his career. Uh, after after Leonard Lee, how does he win? It? Is it none? No, I don't. Is none got beat by uh by James Tony? I believe. Okay, what hold on, your... we'll do it because you want to know. Uh, terrible Terry no. Wayne Norris, terrible Terry. Oh, destroyed Meldrick Taylor. He's the one who. And look at Taylor was in the hospital with Chavez, right? Yep. It's out of the hospital. Wins the welterweight title, becomes number one in the welterweight people, and then they say, "Why don't you fight Terry Norris?" And shit, got put in the hospital. I think again, yeah, he got annihilated by by him. Donald Curry, that's a great win. Wasn't Curry one of the greatest amateur American amateur Absolutely. fighters of all time? Uh, and he that, beat he, he knocked it. John he TKO'd Mujabi. Mildred Taylor and John Mujabi one round. Lee yep. knocks out in one round. That's an awesome win. No, he had some great wins, but then it all John the back. Beast Mugabe. Like, there's... It's better in here. John the Beast Mugabe, uh, Donald uh, Curry, Mildred Taylor, Maurice Blocker. These are good fights. Julian Jackson touched him. Yeah. Oh, I lost, well, I yeah, you can't even talk about Julia. Nobody even seems to want to talk about Julia Jackson and that whole thing that went on there. But... Uh, but he- yeah, and then it slows down for him. Then it's the Simon Brown thing. Then it's the Santana thing. Pat Larler. You Roberto Duran fans never want to mention his name. <laughs> I mean, Terry Norris kicked around for a while. It's the end of the career. I'm telling you, Charlo's it's the Santana the new thing Terry forward. Norris. All right. Bad. Right mm. hand, baby. Out you go. Mm. I, t- I, I love the right hand. I would look at the way Lara looked, you guys. We're going to go to the main event now. The way Lara looked last night, I don't know if he beats Charlo. Right now, Charlo's speed and power looks to be the real thing in the 154 division. It's just time for him to ask Al Heyman to step it up. Let's step up the competition. And I get it, you guys. I, fuck, they're getting paid to fight nobodies. I get it. I, I, Eric Lubin, I lead, before this, we said it was not a win-win situation for this kid, for, for Charlo. It wasn't. If he if he wins, it's just another prospect you beat. Correct. Oh, great! You beat the prospect of two, the ESPN's 2016. That's great. 
does it make you pound for pound? Does it shouldn't make you a million dollar fighter? It shouldn't. Fighting Cotto should make you a million. Fighting trying to get shit. I don't know Manny Pacquiao to step up. Like why doesn't El Heyman overpay someone to make this kid a household name? I agree. You want Canelo overpay? You had what did they say? Nine hundred million. Don't tell me you couldn't have put could have worked a deal with Golden Boy. Oscar will sell anything, even his own photos and fishnet. Did, what did you say? <laughs> you think they that got, one was going to get by me? If you if I have to explain it, you said it's not good. Yeah, it's all right. It's still right there. I, I, I just couldn't believe it was you that did it and not me. I'm very proud of you. That was a big moment. Everybody's pushing rewind to go, was there something there that we missed? Yes, Andrew told the joke, and it wasn't quite that bad. It was pretty impressive, actually. That's good, Andrew. I'm very yes. proud of you. Yes, sir. I'm That's what it is, though. It's time for the PVC to step up. I They're don't not know. going what... to. They're I know. not going to. I don't They're know just going they're... to go out of business, and then we'll all be happier. I don't. I'm Where waiting patiently for them to go out of business. I just literally am. I don't know why they haven't yet. I'm just waiting patiently. I'm, I'm happy, you guys, that Lara finally said he wants to fight Charlo. One of them had to do it. Now, if Lara's real, he's gonna get rid of the trainer, right? The guy yeah. that linked them all together. What's his name? Shields? Ronnie Shields? Is that is that his name, Lee? Uh, yes, Ronnie Shields. Ronnie Shields. Shields. Correct. You you got to release him. He, he did great for you. Look at I think Charlo, Charlo. I mean Charlo. Excuse me. Laura knows what he's doing. This guy comes from a deep boxing background. You let him go and you make your money, man. Because you look kind of old last night. It looks like it's time to try to make a million bucks for the last time in his career, and that's gonna be Charlo. If they want, Jermel has to step up at some point. He he does look like the cream of the crop, Lee. Um, yeah. He has to step up at one point, take that trophy. And right now, Lara holds it because Lara has significant wins and losses in the junior middleweight division. So, and Heard, Jarrett Heard, he had a great win last night. Uh, look, um, but if he fights, if he does get the unification with Jermel Charlo, listen, and for whoever's writing out there that last night Lubin Charlo was the most anticipated American fight this year, you guys are somebody said shit. that? Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, dicks. It's full they're of dicks. shit, man. You guys just you just need you want better seats. That's all that article is about. Nobody knew this fight. Do you think anybody Nobody's, wait, and I want to say this for in case anybody actually listens to our show who's a writer. They don't read our stuff. They don't, they don't. The people who promote this, they don't. They care how many Twitter followers you have. If you got a lot of Twitter followers, you might get better seats. I don't want to break it to anybody, but that's the secret. Well, what? they might be shoving it in some PR guy's face. You know what I mean? To try to get a better, uh, get a. You never know. I, I could see it happening, but but either way, this most I think it's hilarious. Yeah, most anticipated matchup of the year. Stop it! it. Stop! It, no one even knew these guys, and Charlo being one of them. Nobody knows him. Outside of the boxing world, nobody knew Lubin or Charlo. The hell? They need to step up. It's time for them to step up and tell Al Heyman. I, I don't know what they got paid. We'll see what their what their um, purses were here in the next few days. They should be releasing that, releasing that. But seriously, if like Charlo made a million bucks, you know why he's not asking to step up. You know why he's calling out Herd. I you know I, part of me says I would have probably done the same thing in his position. But it's us as media and fans, we have to pressure these guys into bigger fights. You can't award them the, the knockout of the year and hey, he should be pound for pound. What? The, <laughs> step back and actually look what, what he's doing in the 154 division. You're going to see it's a whole bunch of nothing. When you've got guys that are ranked ahead of you, that are making more money than you, that sell bigger tickets than you, and you don't even mention them, you're not above any of them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Moving Laura, on. Laura, Laura God, being number one. On PBC. <laughs> you know what? These were the greatest PBC C fights ever. What's the title of today's show? These are the greatest PBC fights we've ever, ever seen. Please give me better seats. Here's a better idea. <laughs> yeah. 
Can I get a credential? <laughs> can I get a credential, brother? Can a brother get a credential? <laughs> uh.